Hi, I'm Angelina, the host of a new web series called Next Top Upcycler. Each episode will follow the journey of one upcycler to complete the ultimate upcycle challenge and this season is all about denim. And at the end, you'll get to vote for the winner who will receive $800 worth of dream upcycle tools. All right, so to kick off this series, you're going to follow me along today as I journey to make these jeans. So let's do it. All right, so this is my space. Um, you guys, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I just changed around my closet. I'll show you that in a minute because we need to go in there. But that left everything else looking kind of crazy. Taking you into my sewing room, let's turn on some lights. And I'm gonna show you the embarrassing behind the scenes. You guys just get to see mostly the um, sewing machines. Um, and everything like that. But after I did that closet, all of that stuff over there, that stuff filling up my foyer, that's to my front door, is currently um, stuff that needs to go out to Big Trash um, or it needs to go to the thrift store, mostly to the thrift store. And to add insult to injury, my, I don't know if you can see it there in the background, my doorknob fell off. I live in one of those houses where like nothing can, like something's always broken. I know some of y'all feel me on that. And the reason I'm showing you guys this is because I, when I sent out for contestants, a lot of people asked, you know, like, why do we need to show our space? And the reason I want you guys to show your spaces is because um, I want people to know that it doesn't take all of this. I know I have a lot, but it don't take all of this in order to make amazing upcycles. And then right before Christmas, we, um, the kids came upstairs alerting me that there was a bubble on the wall and there was water that it was like a big bubble coming out the wall and I had to burst it and water came out and water kept dripping and kept dripping and yeah one of the toilets upstairs was um, was leaking so um, thank God for my church members one came and helped us fix that and my beautiful their store <laughs> in my house. I have a video about it, I'll link it. All right, so I have light jeans and dark jeans. I think I am going to pull light jeans. Um, I think these are like light to medium jeans and I also have jean pieces up here too. So, ooh. So we are going to open this up and see what we have here. If you're at the thrift store and you ever want to know what fits you without trying it on as far as pants, you can take the pants and put them around your waist. If you can fit them all the way around your waist, they'll probably fit your waist. These barely are fitting my waist. So they, I mean, barely are fitting my neck. Um, so they may not fit my waist. All right, so that trick definitely really does work because they barely fit my neck and they barely, I had to breathe, they barely fit my waist. So, whew. so I can zip them up, but it's making all of that, you know, like the muffin top. Um, they making the booty look really good, but is it worth it? Is it worth it? Um, they are a good candidate because they are too short for me. And so if I add the little, you know, things it will make them longer so i don't know what do you guys think you know like beauty is pain <laughs> is it is it really and i'm super excited to share with you guys that today's video is sponsored by skillshare skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people they have classes of all kinds you can explore new things that you've never done before deepen the skills that you already have or just get lost in your creativity they have tons of topics like animation graphic design photography um lifestyle like getting motivated pro productivity, things like that. Right now, I'm taking a class by Soledad O'Brien. Yes, the amazing journalist. And I am learning about, it's called Powerful Storytelling. And it's so, so good because I really want to be able to tell the story of the next top of cyclers. I love how they break down each class into little segments, bite-sized pieces that you can just take in at your leisure. So no matter what your schedule is, they're all there for you whenever you get ready to take them. 
So if you're ready to take your creativity to the next level, the first 1,000 to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can let your creativity run wild. All right, so I have my jeans here and I just so happen to have a million strips of denim from another project that I was going to do but then I decided it was too much so I decided not to do them. These are two inches wide. So I would estimate for your project you'll only need two pairs of jeans. Especially if you cut off to make shorts and you still have the leg pieces, this is perfect for that. We're going to go ahead and cut our jeans. While you have them on, decide how long you want it to be before they're cut. You could do yours really short, like booty shorts, or you could do yours a little bit longer. So um, decide how you want that, and then you can go ahead and cut them. Before I do that, I'm going to fold mine in half to make sure I cut them both the same width, or the same length, sorry. Now, what you can do is you can go ahead and iron this up. Um, if you're worried about fray, you can go ahead and either fray check the edges or you can surge the edges or overlock on your regular sewing machine. And let's get started on these. The first thing you're gonna do with these is take it over to your iron and this is just gonna make it easy. I know I don't like ironing either, especially until I got a really good iron. Um, I would definitely recommend getting a good steam iron. You fold this in half and you go ahead and you iron it in half. Then once that's folded in half, you open it back up and follow that fold line and fold each side in half again. If you are working with a beginner level sewing machine or a mini sewing machine or anything like that, you will cut these only at one inch and you'll only fold yours once. And then on the edges, you can either apply fray check or just let them fray. So we're gonna fold it over on that side, go ahead and iron. And then once we have both sides iron, we'll fold it in half and iron it one more time. Make sure it's nice and flat and even on both sides. And then once you have that folded, you're gonna go ahead and add a stitch right along that edge. All right, so I have all my strips. The way I figured out how many I would need, and we're gonna see how accurate I am, is I took the jeans and I measured the leg. The leg is 22 inches around. And I decided that I want mine about two and a half inches apart. I already know I want them five inches long and two and a half inches apart. So I took 22, and a, 22 divided by two and a half, which gave me about nine. And I have one, two, three, four of these to put the rings on. And so nine times four is 36 and five inches each. Um, five inches times 36 is 180 inches. So I needed 100, about 180 inches of these or 36 pieces. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna cut them out and we're gonna see how accurate my math is. So each one is five inches. What I wanna do is I just want to mark, make a mark on my table cause I wanna do this fairly quickly. All right, now is the time. We are ready to at start attaching these babies. These, I want like this. So I need to get my clips and clip those in place. All right. And I think that's only eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So I was one off, but it's better to be over than under. There we go. We're gonna go add a stitch all around the edge. All right, so we are done with the first side. All right, so now we want to add the loops for the second layers. The same way we did the other ones, we want to loop these inside. Now sewing this, I just thought about that. Sewing this is gonna be, <laughs> sewing this is going to be interesting, but we're gonna get it done either way. This one, you want to fold it, instead of folding it like this, you want to fold it like this. So you wanna put it through and fold it like this, not like this. Um, I mean, you can do whatever you wanna do, but I'm just saying, 
is going to give it a different look. So I think that they'll lay better if you fold this side like this. All right, so we got a bunch of links and we're going to try to see, figure out, figure out how we're going to sew this together. Honestly, at this point, I don't know. It's not going to make you guys happy, but it is the situation nonetheless. Um, you. All that time we spent attaching these, we need to take them loose because you can't, you have to sew as you go um, or you have to attach them as you go. So just take them off, set them to the side, leave two, the two in the front and the rest take off and set aside. All right, so I have the three that are attached and um, one only one is looped through and we're going to just lay it on the sewing machine and we're going to attach as we go. This is gonna get weird. Then you wanna start taking them through the next loop. And I guess it wasn't bad that I went through the process of looping them because at least I know how I want them looped. And you just kinda wanna pay attention to the edges so that you make sure you're putting them so that they're lining up at, as you get to the end. So I see that this one is about this distance from the side seam. So I'm gonna place it there. All right, now I'm adding my next loop. All right, now I wanna loop it through and find its position. And you wanna keep turning as you go. All right, next loop. Eventually you're not gonna be able to do it anymore just because this side uh, won't be able to pull out anymore. You're gonna keep going until you can't do it anymore. This is where it gets very finicky. So we wanna loop our last one in. The good thing about this is that you have loops, holes in the fabric that you, know, you can utilize. So I'm just gonna clip that really quickly and see if I can find a hole like that where I can get in to sew this. And this is where the heavy duty machines come in really handy because they often have an extra lift. Now you just make sure there's nothing underneath it and you do your best. And is this crazy? Yes, this is crazy. Um, have I done crazier things? Probably. Let's see. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, I don't see the logic of things. It's quite a lonely world that we're living in. Oh, baby, you are something special, I'm sure. Everything makes total sense when you're next to me. All right, so let's talk about this. Um, yes, I like these. Now, I will say, like I said all along throughout this video, I would have done two layers, not four layers. That four layers made it much more bulky, much thicker, and much harder. So, two layers. I would recommend two layers for this, or a much thinner denim, like a thin denim. Yeah, that trash denim <laughs> for this. But yeah, I like this project. I have it paired with my all that denim top. Absolutely love this. Really, really love the back, that pop of dark denim on the back. Um, you guys have seen this before. I have a video on it, of course. It was made out of 25 pairs of jeans. I think this will be a really good project to do. And I wanna wish our next Top of Cycling contestants all the luck in the world. If you're ready for the denim season, let's go. So definitely make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. Next Top of Cycler will premiere February 27th at 9 a.m. So all notifications so you don't miss a thing. And I have other videos for you to watch right here. Tons of upcycling videos and sewing reviews. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.